I think he just called Mike Tyson a gimmick. Mike Tyson's 58 years old, or will be at the time of the fight. Yes. So as much as I respect him? Mike Tyson will you and fight his. Him? Why did you just call me Will again? I didn't call you anything. Why did you call me? I didn't call you anything. Tensions are high as we approach the highly anticipated fight between Jake Paul and former undisputed heavyweight champion Mike Tyson. The fight has created a lot of controversy, especially after some recent statements. The vast age difference between these two boxers has raised many questions. Jake Paul was all fired up as he went after his critics. It's been four years in this sport, and I've done more to it than any boxer in the history of this sport. So in due time, sir, I will be fighting for a world championship, and I will be shutting you the f up and making you eat your own words, just like the rest of these f***ing punks. The two recently had a press conference in Texas for their match, and to say that it was full of drama is an understatement. People were absolutely shocked by some of the personal attacks and accusations thrown out during the event. It went viral all over the internet with clips being shared on every social media platform. Press conference saw the two men taking digs at each other and answering questions about their match. Mike Tyson, also known as the baddest man on the planet, has always been one of the best at talking down his opponents. He was asked how he feels this fight will go against Disney kid Jake Paul. Hey listen man, it was good while it lasted for Jake. It was good while it lasted, not gonna last much longer. You're fat Jake. Iron. Mike came ready to humiliate Paul. Some boxing fans say Mike Tyson is risking injury by agreeing to this fight. He will be fighting a powerful 27-year-old in his prime who is ready to make a statement. Mike Tyson could not disagree more. He continues his attack on Paul's physique. I don't know if he's in his prime, he's fat. He should be lean and mean, he's fat and funky. I saw him with his shirt off the other day, he's fat. I thought, did you start training already? Paul responded by bringing up Buster Douglas, a former professional boxer who knocked out Mike Tyson to become the undisputed heavyweight champion in 1990. He was also fat. Paul threatens to end Tyson even quicker than Douglas did. Hey, Buster Douglas was fat, am I right? I know, but you're no Buster Douglas. <laughs> I'm better, I'm you're, better. No, and I'm gonna, not, I'm gonna end you quicker than he did. And, and you'll remember that forever. You okay. started me off, I appreciate that, Mike. I love you, I love you. Like a father loves his son, but I must discipline you. <laughs> you're going down, old man. Okay, I love you too. It seems that the recent weight gain of Jake Paul is due to him bulking up. He looks very different as he is now over 230 pounds. This huge build, combined with a lot of training clips that he has shared, has many people believing he is in his best shape. He shared a clip on TikTok where he is training with Olympians and says, I'm coming for you, Mike. Sight! You really thought I was partying? We out here, high altitude, Colorado Springs, with the Olympians Team USA Boxing. Let's get it! Let's go! Oh! 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 However, Mike Tyson also has a point here. Jake seems to have gained some unnecessary fat, which could make it harder for him to move around quickly. Mike Tyson was asked how he felt about Jake Paul's goal of becoming a world championship level boxer. Does he see Jake Paul becoming that successful one day? For a change, Tyson actually had some positive things to say about Paul. Let me just be honest, he's improved a lot, yes, he did improve a lot, but he's not gonna have a good night when he fights me on July 20th. There are a lot of rumors around this fight. Many people, including the Saudi prince himself, have suggested that this fight could be scripted. They think Jake Paul is already planned to be the winner, and this is all just a way to launch his boxing career. Some are even asking Mike Tyson to break the script and beat him anyway. So what does he say about all this? Well, just come to the fight and you'll see. Listen, listen, I started Jake off and I'ma finish him. The crowd at the press conference was absolutely loving Tyson's verbal destruction of Jake Paul. The reporter turned to Jake Paul to ask him about the accusations of match scripting. Before he could even respond, the crowd was strongly booing Jake Paul and were happy to give him a fuck Jake Paul chant after he insisted. Hey, yeah, come on, fuck Jake Paul. Fuck Jake Paul. Fuck Jake Paul. Fuck Jake Paul. All this only further riled up the 37-year-old who said, I, I hope you all keep this same energy when I knock this old man the fuck up. He also responded to the scripting allegations. Well, clearly they don't have a high IQ in here, but that's a federal crime. Day two, I'm getting ready for you.
Mike Tyson has also shared a lot of clips of himself training for this fight. He needs to show to the critics that he still has the stamina and endurance to go through a tough, long fight. He will need all the training he can get, so that his old age doesn't play a factor in the later rounds. At a previous press conference with host Ariel Halwani, he was asked about his training going into this match. I'm doing great, but my body is shit right now, Tyson responded. Halwani thought he was joking as he looked in great shape. During one of his own training clips, Jake Paul is seen mocking Tyson's pad work. Many experts think that the only way for Mike Tyson to win this fight is by finishing it early. Due to his old age, no one is expecting him to be able to last eight rounds and then go on to win the fight. Tyson does not seem to care about what these critics are saying. Okay, whatever. It's hard to really even be, he's not gonna win. Ah, he can't even knock out Nick Diaz. Nick Diaz at 40 pounds. How's he gonna knock me out? What's the other guy? Anderson Silva. He didn't knock out this little guy. How's he gonna knock me out? Tyson feels Paul simply doesn't have the power. Who did he knock out? Who did he knock out? Little children. He didn't knock out. He never knocked out a real man. Come on. Tyson even brought up Jake Paul's loss to Tommy Fury. Before this fight, Jake Paul had also been proposing to fight professional boxer KSI, who had previously fought his brother Logan Paul on two separate occasions. The first fight was a draw, and KSI won the second one by a split decision. However, Jake Paul's fight with him never materialized, and he blamed KSI for never signing the contract. But you want to know the difference between Mike Tyson and KSI? What? Is that Mike Tyson will actually fight me. Mm. So who's a bitch now? Like that's, the <laughs> bro. Like, that's yo, true. Oh, Mike's this. Mike's fifty-seven. <laughs> but Mike signed the contract. You fucking bitch, KSI. No, it's like, true. Well, oh, you could say whatever you want, but you're fat running around doing sideman YouTube videos, and I'm changing the sport of boxing, the biggest fight of the 21st century. Netflix. What could anybody possibly say while well, you're you making say shit. FIFA reaction videos, bro? I'm sorry, but we're just not the same and you're 30 years old. Like, Damn. say what you want, but you also said a year ago that Mike Tyson would beat you and that you wouldn't take the fight because of that. So make up your fucking mind. You, you just Damn. are a cowardly bitch that, like, is so insecure that when someone else is doing something good that you have to try and rip... At the press conference in Dallas, the interviewer reminded Paul that fighting an athlete like Mike Tyson was completely different from fighting someone like KSI. What on earth was going through his head that he decided to fight Mike Tyson? Paul responded by explaining that he loves to be challenged. I love the biggest challenges in the world. That's what's made my whole entire career is taking big risks, and I want the toughest guy out there. I want the biggest fights, and making history is what I've done my whole career, and this is no different. Netflix, Mike Tyson. It doesn't get any bigger than this, and everyone will see July 20th. I will prove them wrong once again. Mike Tyson interfered at this point, calling Jake suicidal for even considering this match. Once again. I think you're suicidal. I think you're suicidal, that's what I think. The two men went face to face during the press conference. Jake Paul tried his best to intimidate the veteran fighter, who didn't seem very impressed. Tyson seemed to be enjoying himself and making a mockery of his opponent. Many people, from celebrities to other pro boxers, have commented on this fight and made predictions. The dramatic press conference spread everywhere and got a lot of people talking. Boxer Ryan Garcia appeared on Jake Paul's podcast very recently. He was asked who he felt would win the match. He said to Jake's face, In my heart of hearts, I mean it's hard for me to bet against you. You're different. I like Mike, so I just go for Mike because he's Uncle Mike. During this podcast with Ryan, Jake Paul said regarding his match, I feel bad for what I have to do. Former Ukrainian boxer Vladimir Klitschko weighed in with his thoughts on the match during an interview. When asked about the fight, he mentioned how it's impressive that at his old age, Mike Tyson is fighting a YouTuber who is much younger. I want to ask you about another heavyweight fight that did get made recently, which came by surprise to a lot of people. That's Mike Tyson getting into the ring against Jake Paul, right? Mike Tyson at 58 years old. What do you think of this fight? Well, that's um, also outstanding as <laughs> this fight uh, in Riyadh. Mike Tyson at his age 
is facing a YouTuber that is much younger. He goes on to say that this sets a good example for people who are Mike's age, including himself. It gives him motivation to keep punching, keeping in mind that a lot of people feel that Mike Tyson is too old for Jake Paul. Will Mike still be able to get a knockout? You can only be too old in your mind. If you control your mind, you control everything in your life. Good advice. Who better to break down this fight than Jake Paul's former coach, Sugar Shane Mosley? Everyone already seems to know about Mike Tyson's skills, but Mosley would also know a lot about Jake Paul's capabilities due to training him. Maybe it's that very knowledge that makes him feel Paul won't be able to win this match. Sometimes you need a little bit more experience, and I think that's what's going to be the problem in this fight. It's On his podcast, Mosley was responding to the recent press conference and made his prediction. Surprisingly, the coach actually favored Mike Tyson to win this fight over his former trainee. He doesn't think Tyson's age makes a huge difference. To me, I think he's not too old. I think that, well, he is too old, but not too old for that fighter at 28 years old because Jake Paul's only been fighting for four years. I think that he has that advantage because of the experience. He goes on to say that if Jake Paul had been fighting since he was eight, maybe his young age would have helped him. But as it is, he has no amateur experience. It will be very, very hard for him to get past Mike Tyson. But we will see. He works very hard. He trains hard every day. He has a great team, great coaches. But sometimes you need a little bit more experience, and I think that's what's going to be the problem in this fight. It's experience. He then spoke on Mike Tyson's claims at a recent press conference that he was training a lot. He feels that this will be the real difference maker in the match. Whether Tyson's training will be effective in helping him go Go through the rounds and mike so with with that he's saying he's training a lot and everything they only showing 30 second clips which is interesting because we have to see how much is he sweating how much is he working because that's going to be the tell the tape of the fight it's going to be the if he can actually like go the rounds and, and if he can't hurt jake paul or can't get to him then maybe Jake Paul Recently retired UFC welterweight champion Matt Brown thought that Jake Paul was very unwise for provoking Mike Tyson. On the latest episode of The Fighter vs. The Writer, he explained that Paul's decision to trash tag Tyson could end up costing him really bad. I think the worst thing Jake Paul could do is go talk shit to Mike Tyson like he's doing, Brown said. It just doesn't add up to me. Like, Mike Tyson is an old stoner at this point. He's a podcaster. He doesn't give a fuck about fighting. He's in there to make money. But now you want to awaken that old beast? What in the fucking hell are you thinking, bro? I don't care if he's 60 years old. I train with Mark Coleman at 60 all the time. I don't want to get hit by Coleman. I don't care how old that mother is. Due to his personal experience training with retired MMA fighter Mark Coleman, Matt believes Tyson still has some fuel left in his tank. The NFL superstar, Travis Kelsey, who plays for Kansas City Chiefs, made a surprising prediction for this match. Speaking to the Schmo recently, Kelsey predicted a victory for Jake Paul. He feels that his youth will help him overcome Tyson. Taking the Cleveland kid, Jake Paul, even though Mike is golly, I feel silly saying that, but I'll take Jake with the youth. He was also asked how he felt the fight would end. Would it be a knockout? Woo hoo hoo! I have never seen Mike get knocked Knocked out. Well, there is a first time for everything. Forget boxers and other sportsmen. Even celebrity rapper Lil Wayne gave his prediction for this match. He picks Mike Tyson and feels it was disrespectful that this was even a question. <laughs> Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul. You're raised in well. Yeah. I'm sorry, baby. Yeah. Mike Who Tyson. you got and why? <laughs> I have in that fight? Mm-hmm. If it's a real fight, if it's a real, I, fight. It's a real fight, I have Mike Tyson and I believe it's a disrespectful. The interviewer asks if that's how strongly he believes in a 58-year-old Mike Tyson. He responds, I don't care if it was 85-year-old Mike Tyson. So as you can see, the predictions for this match are rather divided. Mike Tyson may be a former undisputed heavyweight champion, but he is far from his prime. He is 58 years old, and a boxing match at this age raises a lot of questions. Simply going by the age difference, some people pick the younger Jake Paul to win. However, there are others who still still strongly support Mike Tyson. They believe that age doesn't matter. Even at this age, it's still Mike Tyson, someone who they've never seen knocked out. Well, we will all find out the result as we chill on Netflix. We're going to end this video with a hilarious clip from a recent press conference. This disrespectful kid decided to ask the most absurd questions from both Jake Paul and Mike Tyson, and the audience was absolutely stunned. The kid was wondering who has bigger and went on to even ask about their body counts. I think we can all relate to Mike Tyson when he asked the kid where his mother was. Yo, I'm Cam Warren, and uh, I'm a big fan of both of y'all. You guys are both f***ing legends. And uh, I just want to, like... Where's your mother at? <laughs> so you think he has bigger balls? Who, who do you think's got a higher body count? What's your body count, Jake? I love you guys. 
So that's it for today's video. How do you feel about all the controversial statements that Mike Tyson and Jake Paul have made? Are you excited to see this match? Let us know in the comments. If you like our channel, make sure to check out some of the other videos on the screen right now.